Hi everybody, this is Momo, and I put up a poll last night on my blog asking what kind of card you guys wanted to see today, and the winner was a Father's Day card, and I'm actually really excited because I wanted to make my Father's Day card for my stepfather, because he did raise me like one of his own, so um, I'm really excited about this one, and uh, I think it's going to come out really cute, and um, the paper that I'm going to be using today is from the guy stack and I um, if you don't have this and you have a problem making guy cards you need to get it because <laughs> it's got awesome patterns on it um, good colors for boy cards it's got a lot of like uh, sportsy stuff and just rough kind of patterns and um, well, it's cute it has mustaches on it and plaids and just regular nice colors and it's got some embossed images like this one with the tools it's all embossed this one's striped and embossed so this is the one that i'm going to be using for my dad my dad's a huge barbecuer so this one's the perfect one for him so that's the one that i'm going to be using and this one's also embossed and see it's got really nice stripes this has awesome patterns for guy cards so you can't go wrong with this one um so I just wanted to share that with you guys. And look at the little ties on the bottom. Isn't this super cute? And then I love this first page because it says, I love tools. And it says, game time. Boys will be boys. It's a guy thing. The best dad in the world. Where's the remote? So these you can cut out or just leave it like this or whatever you guys want to do. It's got little journaling tags. So this is a really cute stack. When I saw this, I had to have it because my dad and my husband are like super manly kind of guys. So um, I love the patterns on this one. And so we're going to start with, um, this is like my little sort of card envelope because I'm, I'm going to, this is supposed to be an envelope for, um, it's from the Sweethearts cartridge and it's on page 81 and it's supposed to be like the little slider envelope, but I'm going to use, like it's going to be part of my card. I'm still going to put this into a white envelope. Um, but it's going to sort of be part of the card. So I cut this out at five and a half inches out of the barbecue paper. And then what I did is normally on the Sweethearts cartridge, um, this envelope goes with a coordinating little card, which is on here, but it cuts out a little heart on the top. And it's not that I don't love my dad and adore my dad, but <laughs> I didn't want the little heart. So what I did is I measured the little envelope. And I ended up cutting this little blue piece of paper, which coordinates with it, and I cut it out at um, three and seven eighths by four and a half. So that's what's going to go inside this little um, envelope. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to start with scoring this envelope. And I'm just—it does make little score lines, so I'm just going to line them up. Okay, so we have this all scored. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold my little pieces over. And I'm going to put some adhesive. Fold the little flaps in. And then I'm going to fold this part up. Okay, so we have our envelope all folded up, and um, then we have our little piece of paper, and it's just going to go um, right in here, and it's going to slide in, and I'm just going to kind of um, staple like a little piece of ribbon to the top of it, and I'll do that afterwards. And then what I did is I grabbed this little, these two little strips of, um, of paper, and I'm just going to get my... scrambling oh here we go just my scallop border punch for the brown piece and I'm just gonna go ahead and punch it out That's perfect okay. and then I'm just gonna get this piece going to put some adhesive on the back of this and I'm just going to put it pretty much uh, as close to the bottom as possible and just leaving a little piece so that you can actually see the border 
And then I'm going to get this other little barbecue scrap. And I'm going to run adhesive on this. And I'm just going to line it up. Perfect. And then I'm going to trim the edges off here using my um, paper trimmer. Okay, so now that we have both of our little um, pieces done, I've gone ahead and I'm going to stamp. This is just a stamp that um, my mom had bought me at Oriental Trading, and it's a dad stamp. And it says, um, thanks dad for always being there. And if you don't have a stamp that you want to use, um, just print something out on the computer and put it onto the inside. Maybe you can do like a nice personal message to your dad or, or whoever it is that you're making the Father's Day card for. So there we go. We have thanks dad for always being there. Okay, and now I'm going to get some brown ribbon and some glue dots. And I'm just going to put one uh, right about the center of my ribbon piece. And then I'm going to fold the ribbon over and just create a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to get another glue dot and put it on the back. And I'm just going to adhere this right to the top of the card, or the little piece here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut my ribbon at an angle. Yeah, I think I'm going to do them. And then we have our envelope. Okay, so those two pieces are done. Then what I did was I cut a circle and you can get this on basically any other cartridges. And I cut out this dad, and that dad is from Beyond Birthdays, and it's on page 136. And I cut this out at one and a half inches, and I cut the shadow blackout feature, and then um, the actual dad. But what I'm gonna do to my circle is I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my cuddle bug. And I just have this um, kind of like, it looks like distress stripes. And I'm just going to run that through. So I'm going to get my A plate, one of my B plates. I'm going to go ahead and put my little circle in. And then I'm going to get my other B plate. And I'm just going to run that through. And we've got our distressed circle, or our little distressed striped circle. And then our next step is just adhering down our little dad. And again, if you don't have this cartridge or if um, you don't have a stamp that says dad, just print something out on the computer and you can just do the exact same thing. Just layer it onto a few shapes so you can do square instead of a circle or something like that. And then I'm going to get some pop dots. If I can find them. And I'm going to go ahead and um, adhere this down right here to our circle. And then I'm going to put pop dots on this. I was wondering what was so sticky. There was a glue dot on my mat. And I'm going to adhere this onto the front of our little card. Okay, so we've got our pop dots on the back and we're just gonna adhere this here to the front. Very simple. And so we've got our little um, envelope and our little insert and then you can write on the back of it and that just slips right in but it leaves the little ribbon at the top where you so um, daddy can pull it out. And then this whole little card I'm grabbing one of my little envelopes just so I can show you guys. This little card fits perfectly into an A2 size envelope. So you can use it as your actual card and you have kind of like a little pull out and you can write on the back of it. So that's my card for my daddy. 
and I hope that you guys enjoyed my Father's Day card and um, that's it so stay tuned for the next one and smooches to you bye